at the beginning of every year. We hope that the new year will be a good one. No suffering, no hardships, no injustice. But after all, this is the human world. And as the Buddha said, wherever there's birth, there's going to be aging, illness, and death. So we have to be prepared for the fact that that's going to happen this year, too. And that's the nature of the Buddha's skill, learning how not to suffer even in the face of aging, not to suffer in the face of illness, not to suffer in the face of death, to see these things as normal, and to be able to keep our mind at normalcy as well as we face them. This is why we practice generosity, virtue, and meditation. With generosity, you learn how to give away. And you realize that the things you've given away are really yours much more than they were if you tried to hold on to them. Because that's one of the reasons why we suffer. We have to be parted from the things we love. But if you've turned your things you love into the virtue of generosity, into the perfection of generosity, you don't have to be parted from that. That becomes part of your mind. Someone asked a Mun one time how to differentiate between the mind and its virtues, and he said there's no difference. If they were different, then people would find some way of stealing other people's virtues. But you can't separate these things out. So the perfection of generosity then becomes built into the mind. The same with virtue. That's a perfection, too, as you abstain from doing unskillful things. You gain a sense of self-respect. And at the same time, you don't have to face the fear that comes from having done harm to other people, knowing that someday there will be a repayment back down the line. And here the repayment is all good, because you haven't harmed anybody. That too gets built into the mind. And finally, the meditation, the qualities of mindfulness, alertness, ardency that you build into the mind as you practice. These don't leave you. And this way you've trained the mind so that it, it's well stocked when it has to face loss of various kinds. It realizes that it hasn't lost the things that are of value. When Sariputta passed away, Venerable Nanda went to see the Buddha and told, told him of the news. And he said, Ananda said that he was knocked out of line by this news. North, south, east, and west seemed to be out of line. And the Buddha asked him when the Buddha, when, <coughs> excuse me, when, when sorry, Buddha left, did he take virtue with him? No. Did he take concentration? No. Discernment? No. Release? No. These things are still there. All the good things that the mind needs are still there. When you can see that, and when you've developed those qualities within the mind, so it's not just a belief, it's actual knowledge. Then the changes of life won't face won't cause you any problems, because things of real value are not affected by them. So a happy new year is one in which you've developed good qualities in the mind when you develop the perfections. Always keep that point in mind. <laughs>